Notice of Motion 2. Recognition and thank you, Superintendent Karen Hodges, AFSM, New South Wales Rural Fire Service. Our registered speaker is Craig Burley. If you'd like to please come up. Thank you. Thank you, uh, uh, Mayor and the other councillors, for uh, the opportunity tonight to address is what's, a, for myself, something of, of mixed emotions, uh, the, uh, the moving on of Karen Hodges, our deputy, oh, sorry, deputy, our fire control officer, that has been in uh, the service of the Hawkesbury for many, many years. And in particular, uh, may I thank, as long as it's not out of order, but Councillor Wheeler for putting forward the notice of motion uh, that Council formally uh, recognised Karen's devoted service to the Hawkesbury district and, and, and more so the greater area of New South Wales. Uh, Karen's moving on to be the Deputy Commissioner, a Deputy Chief Officer for South East Region of Queensland, and I tried to research before coming in this evening where that extended to, but I know Queensland's a pretty enormous place, so I can only imagine that the area of operations that Karen will have jurisdiction over will be uh, substantial. But not that it hasn't been substantial. The Hawkesbury Shire is an enormous patch of vegetation and infrastructure, rural and residential dwellings of which Karen ultimately has had the responsibility for maintaining safety of for a large proportion of the last 36 years in her service with the Rural Fire Service. She first joined the Rural Fire Service a little bit by default as being employed as a council uh, typing officer and at that time was assigned to assist Bill Roger, the fire control officer at the still Hawkesbury Fire Control Centre, but we're working on that will, aren't we? Uh, back in 1988, much a similar time as when I joined the Rural Fire Service in a full-time manner as well as a volunteer. But Karen was never going to be the typist. She moved very quickly to be in 1990 uh, uh, appointed as a Deputy Fire Control Officer for the Hawkesbury Rural Fire District youngest ever person to have that role and the very first female to be appointed in such a responsible position as well. Moving then to be appointed as the fire control officer in total command for Hawkesbury Rural Fire District in 1999, again the very first female to be appointed to that role and therefore had the ultimate responsibility for the day-to-day -day operations and the responsibility of 1,800 members, the infrastructure, the, the goods that go with running a rural fire service are not small and during her tenure it has increased exponentially. The roles and responsibilities that a rural fire service have been enormously increasing over the time of her, her appointment. She's been appointed a Section 44 incident controller on 36 times, which is the most appointments of any incident controller in New South Wales rural fire service uh, history. And that doesn't happen by chance. The declarations by appointment of delegated authority from the Commissioner and the Commissioners do not hand that delegation out without lightly. They give it due cause and due consideration before handing down that responsibility. And it's only been because of Karen's ability to perform those roles that she was uh, given those uh, tasks on so many occasions. But then there is the untold number of fires on a day-to-day -day basis that ultimately the brigades go to, but in the, the long run becomes Karen's responsibility as well. I tried to in my add up the number of acres that Karen has had uh, responsibility for managing, and I noted tonight here we have an amendment with numerous fires, uh, many of which were over 100,000 hectares but ultimately culminated in the Gospers Mountain Fire, where Karen had the responsibility for, I think it was six or seven local government areas were ultimately under her purview. And to undertake that mammoth task in the very exemplary manner that she did uh, can only get the commendation from, from, from us all, for sure. Um, she's had the other challenge of, of coming through and hopefully we've gone through the phase of being females and males but she did come through that phase in our in our generations where to be a female and pushing through that uh, glass ceiling was a challenge but she did it with 
ultimate uh, esteem, uh, both to the females, but also to the males. She's earned the responsibility of firefighters completely across the state, and she, she has their respect, and uh, she has shown the dedication not just to the firefighters and the, response, and the family of firefighters, but the greater community of New South Wales in a manner which not many could probably adhere to. On a day-to-day -day basis, she's probably attended more births, deaths and marriages in one way, and for a few of us, a few divorces as well, and has shown the empathy that only a, 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 a true friend can. And uh, it, it certainly is, uh, uh, shows the nature of the person that we've had as being our leader during that time. She's going to be sorely missed, for sure, uh, but uh, we do wish her every success. There's a big part of me, and I'm sure other members that don't want to see Karen go, we would love to see her stay. And we'd always said on a personal level, when, when she retires, I'll retire, but neither of us are quite at that level yet. Uh, but uh, in saying that I, I, I'd love her to stay, I certainly, and I hope that the councillors all certainly wish her all the very best. She will be a success. She's an achiever. There's no doubt of that. Um, but just, just in summary then, I, I, I would urge that all councillors support the notice of motion that was up tonight to thank Karen for her service and uh, yeah, I've nothing further to say. And, yeah. That was lovely. Thank you so thank you. much. Oh, Councillor Wheeler. Thanks, Madam Mayor. Um, look, the, the notice of motion is, is fairly I'll, self... I'll second that, Madam Mayor. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Um, the notice of motion is, is quite self-explanatory. Um, I think m many of us, as, um, as Craig said, are, are really sad to see Karen go, but, but really pleased that she's moving on to, to what is a, a newly created role in a newly created organisation. It's a fantastic opportunity for someone who has, who has been a leader since, um, since really her very first move across from Council's typing pool. Um, to the, it's a fairly meteoric rise, I think, to, as we've heard, one of, one of the most respected um, operators in the New South Wales RFS. Um, I want to thank the RFS members who helped me prepare this notice of motion. Um, it's, it's not often, I think, when you when you go to write something like this and people are clamouring to, to give you their, their positive opinions about people. Um, and, and I will note that there's um, an additional um, section to table, which is the list of Section 44 declarations um, that Superintendent Hodges has been the um, incident controller on, and it's my fault that they are not a part of the business paper because I didn't get them to the staff fast enough, unfortunately. Um, this is a really tough job, and I think, you know, it's one of those jobs where everybody thinks they would have known what to do in the circumstances. Um, it's, it's very high stress, it's high stakes, and there are very high expectations. Um, Karen is known, though, for, for those of us, particularly those of us who have worked um, in the fire control um, in, in fire control itself, as, as someone who, who approaches this job with both skill um, but humour and, and frankness. Karen is incredibly blunt. Um, if you need an attitude adjustment, Karen will cheerfully give it to you. Um, but as, and as you've heard, and this came up time and again, Karen's enormous capacity for empathy. And she, when you become part of the RFS family, and, and I understand this now as the mother of someone who is, has become really heavily involved um, in the RFS, um, there, there's a... People, people bring all of themselves to the RFS, and that includes their bad times as well. And Karen has had an enormous capacity to see people through that. Um, it has really been a pioneering role for a woman, um, particularly in, in the Hawkesbury RFS. It's a very much a family organisation, and Karen has been the most extraordinary matriarch of it. Um, she will be greatly missed. It's, it is the end of an era, and I think it's very rare for a woman as young as Karen, who's about my age, I will point out, um, to, to have so comprehensively shaped an organisation and its culture that her moving on is thought of, the end of as the end of an era. But we have more than three decades of service um, in this organisation from Karen. Um, 
Karen, I, I have to note, um, Craig, that Karen would have loved that you got a quip in about fire control. Um, I'm sure she'll she'll um, she'll enjoy that. Um, this is this has been really devoted service. Um, she, the the tenacity and exhaustion that I witnessed on my first campaign, which was Gospers Mountain, and I hadn't even signed up properly as a member at that stage, and I neither had you, Madam <coughs> Mayor. Um, we. The, people came in, and I, I remember Craig coming in, just you know, covered in dirt and soot and sweat and just utterly exhausted. And yet this is an organisation under Karen's leadership where people backed up after you know eight hours sleep, a feed and a shower, and did it time and time again for five months. It really was extraordinary. That's the organisation that Karen has, has created uh, for people. It... Um, there, there were some lovely comments about Karen, um, and I've included um, many of those in the background, um, particularly that things like she's known for her personal touch. Not many FCOs would send flowers for births or grieving relatives. It's that personal touch we'll miss the most. Karen isn't just an FCO, she's a mentor and a friend. Uh, someone commented on her amazing um, ability to manage the accounts and squeeze blood from the stone. Um, her ability to cajole people into doing things for her is extraordinary. Um, there's, a, there's a term voluntold that is used frequently. Um, she's been an amazing leader, constant and reassuring. There were also a number of people who made comments about her capacity as a woman to lead in what has been up till now very much a man's organisation and repeated comments about her capacity to to make tough calls um, under pressure. And as community leaders, I think that's something that we can all learn from. Um, I'll read out the comments of one of the group officers. The competent, dedicated volunteer firefighting force that Hawkesbury is today is a testament to Karen's commitment, both during and after work hours, for the conduct of firefighting and the welfare of the district's crews. And I think that shows, that, that speaks to the level of responsibility that this job entails. Karen will be greatly missed. She will be very hard to replace. Um, one of the comments I got from someone was, I hope we don't get someone shit. Um, and I think, you know, that's a genuine fear across, across the organisation. Organisation, uh, because Karen has been this constant um, for, for a whole generation of firefighters, and that is really an extraordinary thing. Thanks. Thank you, Councillor. Councillor Zamprogno. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Um, I can only agree with Councillor Wheeler's motion and her sentiment. I've known Karen for over 33 years when I arrived at Fire Control to volunteer in the communications group for a time uh, when I was uh, still a teenager. And even then, it was clear that she was a rising star. And in the 33 years that I've known her, she has never been anything less, on all occasions, than a complete diplomatist, a complete professional, a completely un or seemingly unflappable person. And the professionalism that she's brought to her role has been very much to our advantage in some exceedingly um, trying times, and I wish her every success in her future endeavours. Councillor Lyons Bucket. Thank you, Madam Mayor. And similarly, I'd just like to echo what Mr Burley and uh, Councillor Wheeler and Councillor Sambrogno have said. Uh, Karen was a trailblazer who's very widely and highly respected, uh, not just in this area, but um, I'm sure across the whole nation. Um, she's always been extremely approachable and a very competent officer, and I think that's highly recognised as well. So um, our loss is Queensland's gain, well and truly and she'll be missed leaving really big shoes to fill, but hopefully she'll come back for the opening of the new headquarters. That would be nice for her to come back and grace us with her presence. Um, I'd just like to add my thanks for her service, her dedication and her mentorship and guidance to many other volunteers, but also to many other community members. She was also not just confined to the RFS. She would often be uh, helping people in other ways. So I sincerely... Uh, Wish her all the best with this new venture. I'm sure she'll adequately deal with whatever new challenges come her way, and I hope we'll see her back in the Hawkesbury from time to time. Thank you, Councillor. Councillor Sheather. Yeah, thanks, Madam Mayor. <clears throat> I, I've been lucky enough to know Karen since she started out there all that time ago, and uh, <clears throat> with the um, with, uh, we've, we've got a list of the, 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 the fires, the major fires that she had control of. God knows how many other ones there were. A lot. <clears throat> and uh, over the years, I've had a lot to do with, with different brigades around the city. And uh, 
during the worst times and not so bad times, um, I'd never heard any of the fire captains speak ill or, and there surely must have been some frustrations during those times. <coughs> but there was a team that worked together really well and, uh, and Karen led that team. Um, I wish her all the best in Devers in Queensland. Um, the, the, uh, with what Craig said about um, about her um, uh, the role she's played and the respect that she has throughout the brigade communities, um, that uh, I doubt there'd be any doubt at all that she can't do the job, uh, and uh, it's all at our loss. So, Madam Mayor, um, I wish her all the best. Thank you, Councillor. Anyone else wishing to speak? If, if I may, Madam Mayor. Thank you, Councillor Weigel. One of the great joys about being elected in this place is you meet some wonderful and extraordinary people. Um, over the last number of years, as we all know, we caught up with the Long Service League Awards for the RFS, and it was many people to get through for a long, long time. And I think we were doing two or three each year. And I sat back in the first pew there being a guest there, and I thought, Karen was one of these leaders that you could see how she uh, presented those awards, which has been mentioned by others and the councillors with great empathy and, dare I say, love to the people. She, she, was, uh, she was more under her management, dare I say. I, too, wish her all the best going to Queensland. Um, certainly our loss and Queensland's gain. And, dare I say, they probably need all the help they can get in some areas in Queensland. And, Karen will just add to that. So, from me, thank you. Thank you to the RFS and um, her legacy will be um, sorely missed. Thank you, Councillor. Anybody else? Deputy Mayor. Thank you, Madam Mayor. I concur with everything that's been said. I just wanted to add that um, during the Gospers Mountain fire, I was so taken by the, the way that um, Karen could make decisions. I was out there a few times and she was making decisions at the rate of one every 30 seconds, saying, you do this, you do that, sending this person there, and it was just amazing. And those decisions were based on her knowledge, not only of the RFS, but of the topography that she was dealing with and the services that were available. And so from that point of view, we, she will be sorely missed, but um, I don't know whether anyone else can fill those shoes. It'll take years of experience to get to where she was. Thank you. Thank you, Deputy Mayor. Anyone else wishing to speak? Well, as the Mayor of Hawkesbury, I will just add my final remarks, if that is everybody who's had uh, their turn to speak. And just to, on behalf of Hawkesbury City Council, wish Karen uh, very well on her new ventures in Queensland. I can hear by the remarks tonight, she certainly touched um, the lives of many over decades of service uh, in the Hawkesbury area. And as Mr Burley said, I'm sure all the group captains uh, in the Hawkesbury have learnt a lot off Karen and those lessons will stay with them for the rest of their lives. And it has been a pleasure to uh, get to know Karen, to view her leadership style. Uh, again, during Section 44, it sounds like we all sort of had a bit to play in that. When uh, I contacted her on the mobile and said, what can I do? She said, just turn up. I know I can trust you. I'm going to throw you in there. And so <laughs> hence, and hence now why I am a member, as with Councillor Wheeler, um, of the Communications Brigade. And it was such a learning curve. But to sit there and watch her as the leader making decisions that are life and death decisions, they really are. Decisions uh, that affect not just life and death, but people's property and where she's sending volunteers um, out in the uh, appliances. It's amazing to see the pressure she must be under, although she doesn't show it. Sometimes you can hear it, um, but she certainly uh, acts with a cool head and there are many decisions just in my short time of viewing her where I know that that would have been an exceptionally challenging decision to make, yet she's had to make them uh, in the best interests of the Hawkesbury and the Hawkesbury community. Uh, so I'll be attending her farewell this weekend on behalf of Hawkesbury City Council. Uh, I will, if possible, say a few remarks as the leader of our community to our leader of the RFS who has served us so brilliantly and so well over so many decades in the Hawkesbury. So I do farewell Karen, wish her all the very best, but she will sorely be missed. If no other councillors wish to speak, write a reply, Councillor Wheeler. 
Uh, thanks, Madam Mayor, and um, thank you all for your um, comments for, for Karen. I think it's, yeah, it's it's one of those things. It's a it's an organisation that is spread across the LGA. Um, I've I've heard that some people are um, reticent to attend her farewell dinner because they don't they because they're too sad at at Karen moving on. Um, this is the you know it's it's one of those awful catch 22s where you want to pay your respects to someone but you really would rather they stayed um, I think what, what we've heard tonight is just the enormous respect um, that in, in which Karen is held so I think it, you know, that there's nothing really left for but for council to, to note her outstanding contribution that she has been a trailblazer, that she has had the care and responsibility for the protection of the Hawkesbury um, for, for more than three decades. We are deeply grateful um, and convey both that gratitude and our utmost respect for her, for her leadership and her service to the Hawkesbury community. Thanks. Thank you, Councillor. All those in favour, please raise your hand. In favour of Councillor Reardon, Councillor Vigel, Councillor Sheather, Councillor Connolly, Councillor Calvert, Councillor Dogramachi, Councillor Jurick, Councillor Lyons Bucket, Councillor Wheeler, Councillor Zemprogno, Councillor McMahon, Councillor Kotlash, I declare the item carried. Thank you very much for coming in tonight.